In this video, we're going to show you how to upgrade the memory on the Acer Aspire Laptop E is an Edward 15 series. This particular one is a um, ES, as in SAM, 1 series. Um, but it'll, again, it'll work with all the E series. And uh, so you'll actually have to take out the bottom lid and actually undo the motherboard. Uh, I know it sounds difficult, but it's not as bad as you think. So what you're going to do is take off the bottom. There's about 12, 13 screws on the bottom of here. I've already taken out most of them, but as you can see, all these little holes you're going to unscrew. Um, all the screws out. These are particularly Acer is usually generally the cheaper laptops. Um, so this one I think costs under 200 bucks. Um, this one's got like a fake DVD in it, a blank. So the only thing you have to do is just take your thumbnail and pull it out. See there? And I did make a video. You can install a real DVD on there. You just have to plug it into eBay. Um, if you look at the video, a couple videos below this one, um, you'll find it. Alright, and so now what you want to do is you want to take this bottom cover off and you want to put, set it up on edge and take you a steak knife or a little flathead like this and you go around the edges and you'll hear little popping sounds make sure you get all the screws on the bottom if you don't this will be much dif more difficult um, and it just won't open and you might crack something so there's going to be two little ribbons holding it together and so you want to be a little bit delicate here Go around the edges this particular model is a Celeron processor um, 4 gigs of RAM one 4 gig chip, we're going to upgrade it to an 8 gig chip the edges here there we go see here there's two ribbons holding it together I want to un undo both of these ribbons so what you're going to do is this bottom one here there's two little white tabs holding both uh, the this ribbon here so you're going to push them up towards the screen the two little white tabs on the left and right of this bigger ribbon. And there we go. Pulls right out. And then this smaller ribbon to the mouse, there's another little, little white tab holding that. Only thing you're going to do is pull up on it. And you're going to be pulling up towards you, towards the mouse. And that pops up. And that should just come right off the palm rest. See there? Perfect. Now you're going to want to, first you're going to want to uninstall the hard drive. That's what keeps your operating system and all your memory and stuff. Before you do that, you want to undo the battery. So there's two little things here that's holding this battery. And only thing you want to do is use your little flathead and maybe your fingernail and pull towards you. To pop it out see there and there's another one here same method pull to you okay so you got that out now let's take the hard drive out there's one little screw holding in the, uh, the hard drive okay and same thing with this little ribbon here, you're just going to pull up. Pops right out. There you go. You want to go ahead and keep this yeah. ribbon intact. Alright, and so we want to undo the Wi Fi. There's one screw holding in the Wi Fi. Pull the Wi-Fi out. 
that. So there's one screw holding it in here. That. All right. So now we're going to take the fan off. There's a screw right here that we take out. As you can see, when we take that whole screw out, the fan, there's one wire that's held on right here. That, that's connected to your jack. Now that exposes the one memory chip of four gigs of RAM. So, as you can see here, I purchased an eight gig of RAM. This is an SDDR3. That's Dees and David DDR3, and it's eight gigs. Separate these pins there. Take the four gig out. Put the eight gig in. And that's all you have to do. And so basically, what we're going to do is loop everything back. very easy to do. That goes back right there. Put the Wi-Fi card back. Okay guys, thank you for watching. You're just going to loop everything back and reinstall um, the palm rest and you just upgrade your RAM. For whatever reason, if it does not turn on, it, just, it means that your RAM that you installed is not compatible. So you got to make sure you find the right one. Alright, thank you for watching.